Hello, everybody, and welcome to Signals America's micro webinar DIY uh, versus professional Signal Heat Tools. Uh, today, the presenter is Steve Dermo. He is Signal America's National Accounts Manager. If you have any questions um, for Steve today, feel free to add them in the chat window or the question window. Steve, take it away. Thanks, Jen. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody um, to another uh, quick micro webinar from Steinel. Uh, so as you can, as Jen said, uh, we are going to uh, talk a little bit about DIY versus professional um, with the Steinel heat tools and all the different tools we have and what uh, kind of some of the things we offer to different both markets. Uh, as you may or may not know, um, Steinel sells does not sell direct. They only sell through distribution. So some distributors may or may not know that uh, although we do sell to NASA, Boeing, Lockheed, and all these big professional companies uh, in the aviation and um, different types of uh, roofing and different types of applications, our heat guns can also be used for the DIY market. So Steinel, you know, um, a little bit about us. We like to think outside the box. We scrutinize normal things that are taken for granted. And we like to add things to our tools to make them work better, high efficiency, um, high quality and safety is what we pride ourselves on. Um, so as I said, you know, the DIY market is not really where we focus uh, when we're selling our tools to our distributors, but they are tools that can be used, uh, you know, and here are some of the applications uh, and from which you can do things with our heat guns, uh, other than just the wiring and that kind of flooring and roofing that we normally sell our heat guns into. Um, this is kind of a DIY, uh, just a couple of uh, suggested applications or things you may be doing around your house or your customers may be doing around their house uh, that they could use a heat gun for. As you can see, paint stripping, wallpaper, uh, you know, pond line, you know, welding pond liners together, window tinting, plastic welding, solder desolder, uh, body, uh, body wrap or body repair on a vehicle. Um, and one of the things I've done personally with my heat gun at home uh, is uh, change the grips on my golf clubs. Uh, take that glue off once you cut the old grip off. You know, that's kind of one of the things that I personally use it for. I have a de um, take some caulk off around the, bath the bathtub as well. Uh, these are great tools for just doing that, for basically heating something up to uh, uh, take the adhesive off. Um, for, our, for professional use, you know, here's some of the main um, markets we try to go after. Uh, obviously, electronics manufacturing, auto body repair, uh, wire harnessing is our biggest avenue. Um, roofing, flooring, aerospace and defense, te telecommunications, all these things are places that we mainly go after when we're selling our heat guns. Um, and for good reason, they're German made. Everything you see is made in Europe. Uh, so you know you're getting a good quality tool that's gonna last a long time. And as, we, as I talked about, here you go, high quality. Uh, everything is made in Europe under rigorous testing. Every part, part is replaceable on these tools. So you, you can a easily maintain it at home without having to um, you know, buy a whole new heat gun, throw that heat gun out. You can just buy a part and replace it. Um, better technology. So we have heat and CFM settings that you can adjust on our higher end tools. Uh, and then our lower end tools are also designed to last a, a lot longer than something you can buy in a big box store. Um, you know, so maximum efficiency, we have a wide range of uh, spreader nozzles, reflector nozzles, sieve nozzles for every application. We have nozzles that's for welding plastic bumpers, uh, a little bit of everything. And then, uh, you know, safety is obviously key and paramount with anything you do, uh, especially in the professional side of things, but also at the DIY uh, side of things. We have uh, types of different safety indicators, flashing LED lights to indicate this, the tool is still hot, ergonomically designed so you're not hurting your uh, you know, wrists or carpal tunnel and all that good stuff. Um, they just really design these tools to be um, maximum efficient, maximum efficiency so that you, you know you're getting a good tool for the price you're paying. So here's a little bit um, of the DIY heat tools. Um, you know, we have a, a little array of our, low, our entry level guns, uh, the 1620 and 1820, and basically they're non-thermocoupled, so you wouldn't be able to put a, a restriction nozzle on those. But basically those are your, your basic entry level heat guns in a sense of there's no real dialing into a certain temperature. There's a high and a low and a couple different temperature ranges, but that's about it. It's a basic heat gun where close is hot and further away is cold. Um, and then you, the middle column is the DIY, and also could be used in the professional setting, uh, is our 1920, 2020, and the HD350 ESD. 
uh, the 1920, which I'll get into all these tools here in a little bit, um, but basically these tools have a thermocouple in them, so you can allow, you can put those restricting nozzles on that may uh, interrupt the airflow of the heat gun. And then on the far right, you're going to see our two of our glue guns that we use. Uh, that we sell the GF 3002 and the TM 6000 and these are a no drip heat guns or glue guns I'm sorry so that when you once you pr uh, pull that trigger to exclude the extrude the glue, glue um, it will stop as soon as you let go of it it will not drip so it's a nice added feature for when you are doing some arts and crafts or something around the house you're just not dripping all over the place you don't have to worry about it leaking and ruining anything that you're working on so the 1620, this is our low cost, high performance. This is our entry level thrifty heat gun, uh, you know, a hot, hotter type of heat gun where, like I said, you have a low and a high um, and basically it's an ergonomic fit. And, you know, to get a, a hot temperature, the hotter temperature, you're going to push the heat gun right up to the, to the work surface, as you can see in the picture. And then to get a cooler temperature, you're just going to pull it a further away. So it's a basic heat gun, uh, great introductory price. Um, and, and like I said, it's a great entry level a heat gun for DIY around the house, but also can be used in places where you don't need to restrict the airflow in a professional setting. The 1820 um, is basically one step up from the 1620. You have the ergonomic design, the you know, protection thermal cutout, you have a ceramic encapsulated heat gun now versus the mica heat gun. You have an a hanger integrated into it so that you can uh, add a HL scan to it, which actually reads the surface temperature for you, or you can hang it on the, uh, you can hang it from a zero gravity reel or whatnot. Um, <clears throat> these, these tools were redesigned a few years ago to have a longer lifetime than our old tools that lasted much longer than anyone else anyways, but now we're giving them a 20% longer lifetime. And so here's the glue guns that we talked about for the DIY. Um, as you can see, the GF, uh, the Glue Fix 3002, GF 3002 is easy to use with consistent flow. It has a die cast aluminum heating chamber for increased volume. And what that means is inside there, there's like little ceramic discs so uh, that are heating up and it basically allows it to melt the glue perfectly so that uh, you're not <laughs> overheating one side and not heating the other side. It makes it a, a, a nice, easy um, release of the glue. So it makes it easier. If you've ever used a cheap heat or cheap glue gun, you know that it's sometimes very hard to get the glue to come out because it's not heating up enough or it's heating up way too much. And these are basically designed to work at the proper temperature and always be at that proper temperature. And then the, the next to it is the TM6000. And basically this is our cordless butane powered glue gun. And what that does is basically there is a liquid energy cell that you fill with butane you pop open the bottom and pop this energy cell in, and you're uh, good for about 15 minutes before you have to, maybe 15, 20 minutes before you have to fill up, but you're then able to work without a uh, power cord. And you can be out and about on the move, ready to go. It's a flamed heat gun, um, so rapid three minute heat up, and then you're able to go uh, be mobile away from an outlet. So now we're gonna move into the professional tools. And basically, as you saw, the DIY slash professional column has the 1920, 2020, and 350 ESD. Uh, our professional pistols are also going to be, uh, you know, this is one step up from the 2020 and the 2320 and 2320 ESD is that top tool in the middle there. And basically, that's two different tools. The 2320E uh, is our generic um not generic, but our great model uh, heat gun has all the bells and whistles, 120 to 1200 degrees and everything in between. You can uh, adjust the four different uh, temperature settings, which you can uh, programmable temperature settings, which you can adjust. You also have the ability to lock this tool. So if you are a quality assurance person, you can lock this tool and know that everyone's working at the proper temperature for the application you need. Uh, the ESD version is basically that same tool, but an ESD safe grounded tool, meaning that if you are working in an, ES, an electrostatic discharge um, specific area, as long as the worker and the surface is grounded, the tool will also be grounded to that worker. So it is um, one of the only ESD certified heat guns out on the market. Uh, we're proud to have it on our line. And below that, you're going to see the HG2520E, and this is our Cadillac model, if you will. This is the has all the bells and whistles, a DC brushless motor, uh, 10,000 man hours it's rated at, so it's going to last a long time. Uh, and again, it, this is a more robust heat gun. It's going to last a lot longer than anything else uh, on our line, um, and it's a great, great tool used in many applications from uh, Boeing to uh, roofing and flooring to uh, automotive. It can be used everywhere. And then the next, the final column is our professional 
a barrel type, barrel shaped tool. And basically the HG2220 is um, our low cost. It's very similar to the 1920 in that it has a dial in the back, all the same insides, but it's in a different shape. So again, has the thermal couple so you can uh, restrict the airflow and not affect the tool. And then basically the 2620 is its bigger brother. It's the same as the 2520, just in the barrel shape. Uh, and we'll get into some details now. So as you can see on all the pictures and all the uh, bullet points here, uh, you know, one-handed operation. So you have the dial on the back, you change the, the temperature, the, the airflow with the, the dial on the, or the, the joystick on the bottom, I should say, the um, switch on the bottom, that's gonna have you a cool down and then a high and a low, and then you can adjust the temperature with the dial on the back. Uh, ceramic encapsulated uh, heating element, the same hanger for hanging the tool from a zero gravity reel or under your workbench. And also it works with the HL scan, which will read the surface temperature for you. The 2020 is one step up in that it has a digital readout. So basically this is the same as our 1920 that I just showed you with the dial on the back, except now it has a digital readout. So you can, you can control the temperature by 10 degree increments from 120 to 1150 uh, uh, Fahrenheit. Um, and basically with this tool, you can uh, adjust those temperatures by the joystick on the back there. You, to the right is gonna be up and to the left is gonna be a lower temperature. Um, and then we do have a warning on the screen in case of overheating and then a thermal cup out, a cup a thermal cutout as well to control overheating um, this tool uh, as you can see on the bottom there there's a couple different adapters a uh, couple different accessories that go with this on the left we have a, a the intake um, cover and that basically is going to pre prevent any dust from getting into the tool it just slips over the back of the uh, tool to ensure that you know if you're working in a dirty, dirty work environment no dust or debris gets in there and then the HL scan is uh, on the bottom right down here, uh, right in, next to this element. And basically it sits right on top of this hanger space on top of the 2020, 1920, 1820, and everything above it. Uh, and that allows you to um, turn it on and read the surface temperature of whatever you're working on. And then um, allows you to control, uh, you know, the heat gun from there. And basically, uh, you know, it'll tell you when you're working at too hot of a temperature or too cold of a temperature and adjust the heat gun uh, accordingly. So the uh, HG350 ESD is our lightweight and ergonomic um, heat gun. This is a low airflow, low weight um, ESD safe heat gun. There is something like this on the, on the market currently um, that we uh, designed this tool after, except we added some uh, nice benefits, bells and whistles, if you will. We have a, a thermal indicator right here that actually as the heat gun heats up, you're gonna see that turn to orange. So you know the heat gun is hot. And if you were to go on a break and get a cup of coffee and come back, you could still see it's hot. You're not going to take off any nozzles and burn yourself. Um, we've also added a LED light on the front. So if it is a working, a dark working environment, you can still use the gun uh, and also, you know, see what you're doing. And again, this is ESD safe. So as long as you, the worker and or the, the stuff you're working on is grounded properly, uh, the ESD is not an issue with this tool. And so this is our 2320 HG2320E and ESD. Um, the ESD model, it comes in black, all black. Uh, that's the only real difference other than the, the grounded third prong cord. Um, and as you can see, all the different bells and whistles, we have a hanger on here. Uh, you know, we have the safety indicator light, LCD screen, the, 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 all of our tools do stand on their butt end. So as, as you're not using it, you can stand it down on these rubber um, grips here and it allows the gun to stand on its butt end, but can also come in. We have many different accessories for holding these tools, uh, hangers and whatnot that you can use as well. Um, you can see the joystick for programmable functions. Uh, as you can, you can change the temperature, the airflow. On this model, you have about uh, seven or eight different settings of airflow. So if you have something that you need to pinpoint down and not ruin a bigger area, you can turn the airflow uh, down to very low. Or if you need to have full airflow, you can turn it all the way up and it is, pro it is adjustable on this model. Uh, 1000 minimum hour brushed motor, ergonomic handle. Again, the HG, HL scan and the fine dust filter are also available for this model as well and the ESD model as well. So the 2520, um, not much difference from the last one other than the motor on the inside. You still have all the bells and whistles and features, and this gun does get up to 1300 degrees instead of 1200. Uh, a plug and play heating element, DC brushless motor. So it's, gonna, it's being rated at about 10,000 man hours. Um, you have the, H, uh, the, the hanger, as long as the safety indicator. And then on this tool, we have what we call an 
HG Scan Pro. And what it does is you take the neck of this gun off and this the, the HG Scan down here in the corner slides over the neck and actually integrates with this tool. Uh, so when you turn this HG Scan on, it actually, you set the gun to say 500 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, it will read the surface temperature and actually adjust the gun for you. So it makes it kind of dummy proof. It allows you to do your work and then uh, know that your workers are also working at the proper temperature. Uh, the HG2220 is one of our barrel grip tools, um, lightweight finishing tool. And basically what this is, is our 1920 with the dial, has a thermal coupling uh, you know, uh, in the heating element, so you can put all the restricting nozzles on it. Um, but basically this is a barrel shape. For people that uh, prefer this shape of heat gun, a lot of roofers choose to use these types of tools for when they're welding on the roofs and welding uh, commercial roofs. Um, it has a fine, del fine dust filter built in, which you can take off and clean out and put back on. Uh, about 750 brushed motor, 750 man hours brush motor. Um, the, the temperature wheel is just like the 1920 in that you can change the temperature there. And then a, a high and a low and a cool down stage on the switch to turn it on and off. And then, so the, the HG2620, this is our new flagship heat tool that uh, is very similar to the 2520. Uh, with a DC brushless motor, uh, the ch a field changeable heating element, and also and one of the things that's not in the picture is the HL HG Scan uh, Pro also goes on this tool and it allows you to control the temperature, uh, read the surface temperature, and control the heat gun uh, automatically for you. So you have the same joysticks to change the temperature and change the airflow. Uh, again, 120 to 1300 degrees. We have the safety indicator, the nice ergonomic handle with soft inlay. Uh, one of the nice things about this one in the 2520 also is a field changeable power cord, meaning that if you accidentally cut the cord or burn the cord, uh, if you have an extra one around, it's three or four screws and you're back in business. You take, you know, take a couple screws out, pop the old one off, put the new one on, and you're back in business. And then a nice feature on this model is that power button at the very back of the tool here. It says cool mode. If you press and hold the power button while the tool is on, you hold it for about 10, five to 10 seconds, it'll automatically switch into cool mode which then allows the, the gun to cool down for about 500, uh, 300 seconds, which is about five minutes, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> and that basically, so you can go pick up all your other tools uh, and put that tool down and let it cool down before you put it back in your toolbox. So it's a nice feature, it's an automatic cool down and when that 300 seconds is over, it automatically shuts off. Uh, so it's a nice feature there. So, you know, again, Steinel prides itself on being high quality tools, better technology and maximum efficiency. And we do pride ourselves and tend, tend to go after the professional jobs. The professional level to, uh, was where we like to sell our tools, but our tools could also be used for the DIY market um, from our low end to our high end for many different things from removing paint to you know uh, the caulking around a bathtub or golf club grips. You, know, you can do a little bit of everything with our heat guns. Um, and that's why we wanted to put this out, just kind of to let everyone know that it is something you can do. Uh, Steinel does not sell direct by any means. We only sell through distribution. Um, should you need to find a distributor uh, you know, near you or online, please reach out to any one of us, uh, as you can see here, tech at steinel.net, uh, sales at steinel.net. There's a couple phone numbers there. Our website is uh, www.steinel.net. And you can find any contact information there for any one of our regional sales managers or myself. And we'd be glad to uh, help you out, send you a sample, let you try a couple things before you buy it, uh, just to let you know that our tools do work and they are good quality tools. Uh, so with that, Jen, um, are there any questions? I know I kind of sped through it, but I wanted to keep it short and sweet. There are no questions at this time. All right. Well, again, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, this has been Steinel DIY versus Professional. Um, we're glad you could join us. And uh, again, if you have any questions that you feel uh, you come up with afterwards, please, please feel free to reach out to us at any time. We're here to help. Um, and we can also do this with any one of your customers. If you want us to sit down and have a, uh, a conversation via webcam or anything like that with your customers, we could send samples in and, let, and talk them through it um, anytime. And we'd be happy to help them do that. So with that, I'd like to thank you again and uh, say have a great rest of your day. Take care.